Hello everyone and welcome. This is New Pantheon Academia, a game, an anime inspired game powered by Overarms, available now at Drive Through RPG. My Ding. book is in my office. It's okay, I don't need it. So let's go ahead and meet our wonderful table, starting with our very special guest. They are the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf Village. <laughs> it's Draconic. Oh, uh, I feel very embarrassed because that was definitely a Naruto reference, and I've never watched Naruto. <laughs> um, <laughs> but Listen, um, I watched like five episodes, either. and I was good. I'm good. Is uh, the I'm main character the named Naruto, or is Naruto a thing in the? I don't know. <laughs> it's a thing you put in your ramen. It's the way people pronounce Naruto. Naruto. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's true. We can't mispronounce it around. That's true. Um, true, true. Um, I'm not going to try and pronounce oh, it, but yes, hi, I'm Jacob. Well, Jacqueline. actually, about his people's pronunciation <laughs> of Japanese words. <laughs> uh, yeah. Join you again. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, I'm Jaconix, or Jack for sure, um, and I'm very excited to play in this game with these amazing people. Um, I don't know what else to say. Do I keep? Do I introduce more of the stuff I do? Yeah, or just go there? If you, would, if oh. you want to introduce the character, go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I introduced my character. I'm, I'm playing. No, no, we my... don't want to know your character yet. We're gonna make them in game. Oh. Nope, nope, and nope. All right, all right, fine. Okay. Listen to them. Yeah. Introductions. Yeah, I'll try the introductions. Yeah, hi, I'm Jaconic, so Jack for short. I use he him pronouns. Um, big anime fan, big teacher PG fan. I try and combine the two anytime I can. Um, so this game is great. <laughs> I'm very excited to guest um, today. Um, and you can follow me on Twitter, at Draconix. Uh, that's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Um, technically, Stephen did pronounce it properly because apparently it's French. But um, I always pronounce it as Draconix um, when I thought of the name. <laughs> okay. Work. Back when I had a Twitter, I always thought it was supposed to be French. So I'm glad to know this. I mean, I, I thought I combined two words together and made up a word. I didn't even know it was a French word um, until a French person corrected my pronunciation of it. Um, oh, <laughs> yeah. Next up, they're not only taller than me, they're also on the hunt for all the cloud cards. It's Omega Jones. Thank you for allowing me to live my car captor fantasy. I, I appreciate it. Because last time a certain Mika stole it from me. Uh, hi, my name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bar, Critical Bar across all social media channels. Uh, and I play uh, your suave. Um, 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 that's, what is going on with him, honestly? Way too much. I play Kawame Yakiniemi um, with the divinity of Anansi, the West African trickster god of stories. Uh, next up, not only did she steal steal the intro from uh, Critical Bard last week. She also stole the hearts of several men from a beautiful family of rich people who can't hug someone of the opposite gender because they'll turn into animals. It's Mika. And I literally just finished that. You too. Everyone's taller than me, okay? <laughs> Aki and I are about the same height. I am Wait, short I need man. to ask Stephen, how tall are you? I'm five. Five, maybe? Oh, five, four? Four? I'm sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Five, it's five, the apology five, right? And hurts. also, mm -hmm. I have to say, it is really good that we have men of all heights because when trans men have to deal with the fact that they're short all the time, they don't have to worry about the fact that it's like, a stereotype or anything like that. But <laughs> men that are also short, validating their heights as well. Yeah. I'm glad I can be a role model for the community. <laughs> Nothing but respect to all our short kings out there. Yeah, short folk, <laughs> fun. But on non-short folk terms, hi, I'm Ari Pimika. <laughs> I'm five foot ten, and I'm a variety streamer over on t Twitch. <laughs> <laughs> hope you guys are having a great day this is gonna be a fantastic episode um i play dahlia wingro she's a theater kid she's five foot four i think so she's Isn't actually four foot ten she's actually like four foot nine <laughs> she's a tiny. tiny one yeah i'm living out my short dreams <laughs> you've been pronouns are feet five foot um what is happening <laughs> with this game already <laughs> Next up, he works as an exorcist by day and a concierge by night. It's mostly Eric. Hello, everyone. 
How's it going? Uh, I am Eric, and I'm playing Lennox Thatcher, who is the 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 former captain of the football team, and now just kind of man about town. Uh, I am also living my because he's six two, and I'm only six one, so I'm I'm living my my fantasy. <laughs> I want to throw things. I want to throw things. So you are like so short. I, like I need to you tell my so height as well. Short. Can I? Can I like part. give my height? <laughs> the best Please. part about TTRPGs is you can live out your dream of being an inch taller. Yeah, I'm six two and blonde in this game. <laughs> I am six one, so I just want to put it out. There. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> and yet I still tower over all of you. <laughs> Wait, you're like how tall are you? I'm six four. Good God! Does your back hurt? I feel like your back. I mean, hurt. when it wants to know, but to be thrown out. I mean, <laughs> but normally no. How do you go through door frames? I didn't mean it like that, but I mean, you, you, me, you know, <laughs> and when it does. It, I, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I blacked. I had a rage blackout. And I didn't hear what Kwame said. But I didn't hear what CB said. But then my brain just processed that information, and I'm going to move on. Mm hmm. Do I that. Gotta go. I gotta go. I mean, I respect, you know, <sighs> I set it up and you spiked it. We I have mean, one <laughs> more person to introduce. Yes. They're the only thing standing between this world and total anarchy caused by alchemy. It's Aki. I need a drink. And apparently anarchy caused by people who are too fucking tall. <laughs> <laughs> Madness. Listen. <laughs> If I were proportional, I'd have at least four or five more inches of height, and then I would be, like, the same height as Mika, but that's not how God decided to make me. No. <laughs> no, he did not. Instead, the only person in this group I am even close to being as tall as is you, Steven. Uh, <laughs> yep. And you know what? If that's the only thing I get to validate my height, then I guess I'll take it. Anyways, hi, I'm Aki. Be proud. I play Emancipation Brown. Right now, I'd like to be emancipated from being short. Um, <laughs> I made my character only slightly taller than me. I didn't aim for the stars here. They're only like 5'8 or whatever. <laughs> sure. I mean, Kawame is about, I said Kawame's like 6'2, so he's a little shorter than me. Oh, only 6'2. Look at oh. CB living the short dream. Let's go. Look, <laughs> what you mean? You don't gotta ask me to get the stuff from the cabinets no more. <laughs> anyway. Confession time. Sometimes my boyfriend wants to keep something away from me. He will put it on the top shelf. Oh, I would gladly do that. Yeah. Yeah. Really yep. <laughs> yep. uh, Now that we all know that I do, in fact, rely on a stepladder. Let's go ahead and get a few uh, house cleaning out of the way. We are still aiming for $250 in tips an episode or 15 new subs slash Patreon pledges. It allows us to pay our cast, keep everything on, make sure we have cool OPs like we have. We want to get art of the characters, like official art, not, uh, you know, the pit crew things we've been playing with. And that would all help with that. So thank you for everyone who tips. Thank you. And if you can't, don't worry about it. We still love you. You're still part of this family. You're still invited to the barbecue. Uh, but, you know, watching, rating, all that stuff, super appreciated. Uh, we also want to send some love to our friends over at Roll20 who do sponsor this game. And Roll20 is a virtual tabletop uh, platform. Very easy for people to use. Has a wonderful library of free music. And it supports literally every system, all of them. We keep our overarm characters on Roll20 now, and it's fantastic. We also want to send some thanks over to Die Hard Dice. They make the season possible, and they also uh, have given us a coupon. You can save 10% at Die Hard Dice by using the code Saving Throw Show at checkout. If you are in the chat right now, go to exclamation point D H D Dice. I kind of remember how to figure spell uh, for more info. And you can get Critical Bards dice. Check them out. Look at them. Uh, Look at them. You know I'm going to mention it. You know I'm going to mention it. 
Oh, wait, yeah, I'm never like, ready. Wait, I didn't know you had dice. Yeah, they're I'm what? Right yeah. now. What the hell? This okay, is this on. is Forte uh, Whispers, inspired by the College of Whispers, and then this color with gold uh, filling is Forte Glamour. I want to get that right during break. I want to buy that. Okay, cool. As you cool. can with ten percent off, thanks to say with the code Save and Throw Show at checkout. Mm, I actually don't know if you can. I need to talk to him. Anyway, continue. Well, that's concerning. Anyway, um, and hey, if you are watching this later, if you're listening to this as a podcast, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'm so sorry. But uh, thank you so much for doing that. Give us a like, give us a comment, the whole nine yards. It really does help a lot. And we do love you for doing that. Uh, also, if you join us on Patreon and join the Exploration Society, you could, your support comes with pins, swag, merch discounts, one page adventurers, one page adventures where I'm a hobbit. I'm sorry, legally distinct. I'm a halfling uh, sorcerer who is still shorter than everyone. So it works. It's great. Uh, so check that out. It does so much good for everyone. Really appreciate it. Now, before we roll into a beautiful day at North Point Academy, we have some school announcements to make. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, welcome to another beautiful day at North Point Academy. We got the announcements that we gotta get through before you all run off the class. The first one we got is from Five Foot Latina. Uh, it says, uh, take a journey to the underworld. Join the anthropology department's summer tours of tombs, catacombs, and underground cities. We'll see places that aren't available to the general public and earn class credit. Sign up with Dr. Mary e. King. Uh, yeah, you won't catch me in no underground tour. Um, I, I, not until I'm dead, you know. I, 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 <laughs> Up tops for the living, undergrounds for the dead. That's what I always say. Uh, and then we got one from uh, the professional hobbit says, uh, a list of words Stephen wants to hear in this voice. Uh, effervescent, uh, kumquat, <laughs> penguin, jalopy, uh, orangutan, and extravaganza. So congratulations. I don't know what that had to do with school stuff, but uh, there you go. Anyway, that's announcements. Get to class. You have a good day. As the school announcements fade into the background and third period continues on, we start in history class. Honey. Did you study for this quiz? Um, uh, honestly, uh, let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll int if it's if it's if it's above four. It is. Yeah. All right. Miss Rose has written up a beautiful pop quiz talking about how. Uh, well, she has the state mandated thing about the Civil War, and you can see where she took it to the Xerox machine, took a marker to it, and corrected it. So it's a very interesting quiz. Uh, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Uh, let's see how it goes. Five. Mm. All right. You answer to the best of your ability, and you feel like you got it done, but as you're... Okay, you got it done. You got it done. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. And then you hear someone go, oops, as a wave of monster energy drink comes pouring down the table right onto your quiz. Uh, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Um, uh, 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 I can save this. Um, Lenny takes off his shirt and begins dabbing the, his, his test. Mr. Thatcher, as much as I appreciate freedom of expression, and I do believe we should free the nipples, you do have to wear a shirt in class. Oh, yeah. My my test got, um, uh, got covered. Lennox, I'm not going to talk to you until you respect my boundary about putting the shirt back on. Okay. I'm just going to put the, the wet shirt back it on. It is uncomfortable and sticky. We move on over to theater class. Dahlia, do you have your monologue ready? That's a stupid question, Stephen. 
I always have my monologue ready. I have at least five ready at any given time. Good, good. Uh, the theater teacher wearing a blue checkered scarf that looks like it's from a bad production of Rent. Motions to the stage. It's now your turn. Um, do you mind if I just have a few seconds to go through vocal warm-ups? Dahlia, I didn't give that to anyone else. It's it's your turn. Well, I think that's frankly unfair because no one else asked. If, if I give it to asked, you, I have to do, redo everyone's part. Dahlia. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, can we get spotlight right on me? Is that fine? Lights down, house lights down, spotlight on. The rest of the, the class allows this because they know it's you. They know the argument that will happen if you don't get your spotlight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Spotlight's on you. Thank you. Everyone's watching. It's perfect. <laughs> she starts to give a very passionate uh, monologue from, let me just pick one out of thin air. Anything goes. All right. And as you are giving this monologue, yeah, Greg, just bring the cement over here. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. You hear the worst thing you can ever hear when you're trying to concentrate. Construction. Loud construction. Loud construction with bad Brooklyn-esque accents because uh, Eric and I can only do like three voices each. And I, I need you... during my monologue. Yeah, during your monologue, you start to hear cement being poured and someone using a jackhammer and several people arguing about being teamsters or not. And I need you to give me a charisma roll minus six. Huh? Uh, let's see. I got a negative four. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You get the worst note. Any actor can ever receive. I just don't think you were in the moment. I just don't think you were really connecting to the piece. I was in the moment, and so was that construction, and that's the problem. <laughs> it's fine, Miss Wingrove. Go take a seat. This is just unbelievable. I've never been treated like this in my life. <laughs> Manny, it's science class, biology. And in front of you lays a frog tied to a piece of metal. Well, I say tied, it's more like stabbed. It's very dead and very uncomfortable. Sitting next to you is, sitting next to you is Nanako Majima. And even though she's dressed in her best and she's all, she's very cute today because there's an assembly next period. She's green. She's green and pale. She is a pale green and it's not easy being green. You were way too excited to say that. Not apologizing. I mean, I'm not happy about it either, Nanako, but we still have to do it. I, I, I know. I know. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'll Fourth just... Grade. I'll do the incision. And as she approaches with the scalpel, it begins to rivet. Nanako, sweet Nanako, shrieks as the scalpel goes flying. Uh, panic ensues the class. Manny uh, like, hand has shot up, trying to get the teacher's attention, just like, our frog is alive. What? No, no, the frog can't be, oh my God, the frog is alive. And soon 
All the frogs are alive. And panic grips the class. What? Why? Why, why? why would you give us living frogs? I didn't you give you living frogs! Nanako soul has left her body, and she's become Nanokobot 5000 as she attempts to capture the frog. What? what? How did this happen? I... This might, I, I don't know. I don't know. Everyone, out of the class. Out of the class. Put your, put your scalpels down. Where's the other scalpel? And... You find where Nanako's scalpel was as it comes falling down from the ceiling, right in front of the teacher. <laughs> and your teacher, seeing a scalpel almost cut his nose off, promptly faints. Mahat. Why? Kwame. What electives do you have? That scares me. Asking that specific question of all the things to ask. Um, he's a junior. Oh my God, I have not thought about school since I was in college. And uh, um, he has... Probably like home economics or something like that. All right. Home ec. A bastion of life lessons that you will carry with you mm -hmm. long after school. Mm -hmm. No, seriously. If you're young enough to still be in school, take it. Take it. You'll need it. <laughs> I'm gonna disagree Sorry. with that one, but continue. <laughs> Homek was trash. Homek didn't give you no type of actual. Uh, no. I, a I good Homek class should teach you how to cook and balance a checkbook, okay? Two things I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> All right. Homek taught me about nuclear families, and then we're just like, I'm like, what is, what is happening? I don't need that. No. <laughs> no I, need to, I need to learn how to, knock, how to not burn no. pasta. That's what, that's what 21 year old Steven had to learn the hard way. Lord. Anyhow. Anyway. Kwame, today is simple. You have to make... I hear a cat, sorry. You do. Yeah. I should have had a, I should have had a cat on oh, Divinity. Hi, Rob. Yeah. You have... So, today, you have to make spinach puffs. Okay. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. That might be I'd... fine. All Maybe. Right. Um, do have mm, do, does Kwame know? How, yeah, he knows how to cook. The question is, how good is not a cook? Was he closer to? Mm, ha, ha, no, he know he knows how to cook. He knows how to cook. I am I am deciding this in okay. my spirit. The dice might not say I know how to cook, but I think he knows how to cook. <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me an intelligence roll. Okay. Yeah, that's that's a seven. I'm not mad at that. All right. You put the spinach puffs in. They are a perfect, like, they are Crunk's spinach puffs, okay? They're perfect. There's oh. nothing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's all come together. Yep. Ugh. That, that, when I do it, it sounds more like Hulk Hogan. Uh, <laughs> squeak, they, squeaker, squeaking. Exactly. They are perfect. They're aligned. They are going into the oven. And then a couple minutes pass, and they're still mm. pale. A couple more oh. minutes, still pale. Give me another intelligence roll. Yeah, I mean, I look at the I look at the, the the oven to make sure it's turned on. Is there heat coming from it? That's a four. Well, good news. You did check the oven eventually. You had the oven light on. You did not start the oven apparently. I will start the oven then. I feel like that's one of the first things I would have. I would. Hold I on. You Colin, Colin. Colin. What? Mm, okay. I I start the oven because I feel like he looked at it and goes, why? Did, I, I think he 
I don't know what happened, but the first thing he would have did was try to preheat this oven to make sure it's at at least 350 that's, degrees. That, that's baking 101. <laughs> but you, you must have, you must have missed something. You know, I have been a little discombobulated, so perhaps I, I thought You're I pushed the button shocking. and I didn't. You got a lot on your mind. That's cool. Yeah, I will. I will. I will heat the oven, and I have to wait even longer for these spinach spinach puffs. Yeah, which would be fine. It'd be great, except class is just about class is about to end, and if you don't turn these things on, you are you are going to get an incomplete. Uh excuse me. I turned this. I, I swear. I swear this thing was on, and I, I'll just. I, you know what? I, 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 I'm. I'm. Mm, Anansi, help me. Anansi, wearing a little chef's hat and a little bowl of some, and stirring a little bowl of something with a little wooden spoon, because if there's going to be costumes, he is going to wear one. Really? For all to read I, the universe that you don't uh, get an incomplete on spinach I, I, Fine, you know what, you know what, you know what, I'll be a rebel. I'll be, you know, it's when incomplete. It's not like it's testing time. Oh, no, it's testing time. Uh, I probably should not get an incomplete. Uh, mm, huh. Hmm. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? No, it's fine. It's 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 not a pop quiz. It was just it was just spinach puffs. Yeah, I just I was just I was just. Oh, the, the thing's broke. I couldn't even use it. Ha 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 ha. Um, teacher, the oven's broke. I can't I can't use it. I can't use the spinach puffs. I I can't I can't cook them now because the oven's broke. Why don't you go ahead and give me a charisma roll? <laughs> Don't, don't, don't do this to me. I'm just so mad. Okay, good. 11. Oh, you got 11. <laughs> <laughs> Charisma's my ultimate stat, and if I failed that, I'd be mad. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, seeing that there was something wrong with the oven, apparently. You wouldn't no. lie to a teacher, after all. Uh, no, no, no. You are receiving an incomplete, but you will be allowed to make it up later. You know what? I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll come back. And, uh, my spinach is supposed to be so good, I even add, like, some ground lamb to them, you know, with some with some mm-hmm. nice some nice cheese. Mm-hmm. Really good. As the teacher gives you this pass, the bell rings, and possibly the worst period the four of you have had at this school in a hot second comes to a close. And now you have to head towards the school auditorium because some new kids are flying in from England or something like that. Who knows? It's a whole thing. But the four of you are finally together after a really lousy morning. Has this been a lousy morning for any of the rest of you? Yeah, that's like the perfect word to put it. Like, I heard that voice in my head say it was a lousy morning, and I feel like it perfectly describes this day. Lousy? It is the worst morning of my entire life. <laughs> oh, no, what happened? I got told that I'm just not in it today when I was doing my monologue, and I practiced that monologue for months. I'm sorry. It was because they're doing freaking construction? You the theater? Are you kidding me? The sacred spot of the school? Do you, do you need ice cream? No, because I need to watch what I, I don't. I'm sorry, I'm just a little scattered right now. Wrote, um, the frogs in my class came to life? What? Aren't we they like freeze dried when they come to class? They're supposed to be, but. They were definitely riveting frogs all over my classroom. And and the, the teacher passed out and Nanako turned into Nanako Bot 5000. It was a problem. Wow. I was going to complain about my day, but it sounds like it wasn't no, nearly as bad. It. And, and Lenny, Lenny is wearing a, 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 a sweater he found in Lost and Found that it's like three sizes too small. <laughs> what? what? Where are your clothes? What? Why oh. Is it like a belly shirt on you? Yeah, it's basically uh, yeah. <laughs> it's like crop the TV's like crop top yeah. sweater. Yeah. <laughs> it's a crop Kwame, top sweater. Kwame definitely like scanned, but then was more concerned than than uh, appreciating the moment. 
You don't normally wear that, so why are you wearing that now? Uh, I thought Lenny was just kind of like embracing himself more. Oh, no. Uh, my shirt uh, got covered in monster energy. In what? And the teacher said I wasn't allowed to take my shirt off anymore. An energy drink. How did it get covered in monster energy? Well, because uh, cause I someone spilled monster energy on my test, so I like um, I didn't have like a towel, but I had a t-shirt. Hey, hey, Lenny. Mm-hmm. Who's your divinity again? Uh, it's, it's Ninkasi. Like, like beer, and and you always shoot like water out of your hands and stuff. Yeah. And you couldn't soak up the, the energy. You took your shirt off. I. Not to be like you know that person, but have you ever gotten? Monster Energy on a 100% uh, cotton t-shirt? Because that doesn't, like, come out super easy? No, and I hope I never have to deal with that. Yeah, I hope you never so do. You can shoot water out, but you can't absorb water back in. Got it. Oh, yeah. I mean, except for, like, you know, the normal ways people absorb water. You should talk to Ninkasi about that. Oh, yeah. He just turns and he just turns to Nikasi. He's like, can we, like, get water back? She is. Ninkasi, the large, uh, sacred vessel-looking creature, she is laughing. Her big, booming laugh. <laughs> of course! We can control that. Why wouldn't we? Oh. Why wouldn't we? Sick. You didn't even try. But no, you it was immediately. Let's strip in public. I don't know. I I was panicked. I was like I was like hecka doing good on that test. I was gonna get like a solid B minus. That's really good. I mean it sounds like yeah, you all had struggles. I what um with you? Honestly nothing. Um I mean not uh, um I guess having like been here and somehow Somehow, my mother taught me how to cook. I, I I watched her, like, I watched her do what she does best. And you always preheat the oven. You always turn it on. I didn't turn it on. And I, that made no sense to me. I, don't, I, I, I guess I f- didn't push the right button or something. But mine is, like, super, you know, menial in, in comparison. Like, you frogs came back to life? Oh, no. A Nazi appears on your shoulder, dressed as a 1950s housewife, complete with a bouffant hairdo and pearls. I try to, th- I try to tell him you have to preheat the oven, and what does he do? He doesn't preheat the-, the oven. It's not my fault. I didn't say it was your fault. I just said I had a bad day, apparently. And my mind was gone somewhere else. That's all. You know, it's not every time where you know you find out that the more you, you know. You fight these scarecrows and you you change back their keys and I still I pat my pocket still having the key from Gap, um, um, that you know hey you might die so you know just it's just been in my mind it's all it's cool I f- forgot to preheat an oven. Shit happens. What do you think Shit. we're gonna find out in the uh, during the um, assembly today? Also, while they're saying that, they kind of inch over to Dahlia and kind of give Dahlia a, a squeeze. <laughs> Dahlia's like no. It- I'm fine. It's it's good to know that it probably wasn't my performance. It was just the world being a little off kilter. Yeah, I know I gave we're kind of out of whack today. Yeah. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I honestly can't imagine a world where, like, you didn't, like, totally sell it. Yeah, well, you need to talk to my theater teacher because she's very mean. <laughs> okay. Yeah, after the assembly. You need me to beat her up? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Well, I don't think we were supposed to fight teachers. But what uh, if she's a scarecrow? Like, what if she turns into a scarecrow? No, we can't. Oh, beat her. yeah, yeah. But but we need to like you know make sure. Morpheus already has his has the bunny army uh, ready to roll. We should probably head out. Because I don't know why we're having an assembly for an exchange student or something like an entire assembly. That makes I feel like this is isolating. Like, hi. Entire North Point Academy. Here's the person who's new. Maybe they know them. Ones. Ooh. Mm, yeah, the maybe. private school famous kid. It could be. 
As the four of you head to the auditorium to take your seats, Emeka. Yeah. You and several other students from the sister school of North Point Academy, Faircrest Academy in Bath, Somerset. You've traveled a long way to visit one of the sister schools. And being here has been, so far, pretty run of the mill. You watch, you, you watch some American soap operas. So far, everything checks out. Everyone's heightened all the time. You've probably seen some people making out. It's just like High School Musical. Yeah. Just like High School Musical. Ikenga, in the back of your mind. So, is this place boring? I can't tell if this place is boring or not. Um, I feel like it might be a bit too early to tell. Uh, I'll be honest, right now I am a, a little bit bored. There wasn't one fish and chip shop anywhere, but there was a lot of like, did you know the medium sizes here are like our large? It's ridiculous. I think that's the most interesting thing I've found out about this place though. Well, I do have good news. I'm always interested in good news. What? I think we have friends here. I mean, like friends, friends? Like, like friends, kind of. Uh, I think friends. Who? Where? I want to meet them. Well, good news. After this, we will. I foresaw it. Sorry. Oh. Oh, that was a spoiler. It could have at least given me like a, a warning. But okay. As you are led on stage, Emenka, you see the pr uh, the principal and uh, founder of North Point Academy, Dr. Ash. He gives a speech welcoming the students from from uh, True Crest. That is what I called it, right? I think it's a five. fair point. Fair, fair Crest. Fair Thank you. Fair, fair Crest. crest. Fair yeah. crest. Yeah. I write this stuff. I have my notes in front of me. I'm still bad at it. <laughs> uh, welcoming the students from Fair Crest Academy and some of the teachers. How without schools like Fair Crest in the world, we can never have something like North Point. Blah, 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 blah. It goes on far too long. Everyone's bored to tears. The good news, and Dr. Ash clears his throat. <clears throat> now, uh, Faircrest is very proud of its athletics department, as are we at North Point. So, uh, let's see. I've talked to uh, several. Uh, yes? Okay, cool. I want to make sure I have the camera. Thank you. We will be having a scrimmage game between the uh, Bear Crest Foxes and the North Point Rabbits on the basketball courts later this evening. So until then, make sure you welcome them, give them the North Point greetings. It's all very by the book. It's all very standard. And Emeka, you are led to the gymnasium where the game will be held. Kwame, as captain of the basketball team, you are responsible for making sure this game, you know, is a good one. You want to make sure you impress these uh, <clears throat> kids from across the pond. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, so, uh, full disclosure, CB is blacked out. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, you have a game against you have a game against the uh, British basketball team. Gotcha. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and it's starting right now. Uh, it's starting soon. Okay. Cool. Uh, with, and I'm assuming we're like still in uh like the audience while stuff's happening on stage or whatever, or are things setting getting set up right now? Things are getting set up. 
Uh, okay. The big introduction to these kids is over. You know, they're given little gift bags of American goodies. Please don't eat the Hershey's. It will make your stomach churn. Probably. British chocolate is better. It's just true. Yeah, uh, and, and during this, I, I probably lean over to Lenny because Lenny's right there. Oh, aren't you lucky they're not doing football? It got to be basketball. Yay, full sports ball. It, it promotes unity, apparently. <laughs> I miss the game uh, a lot. and uh, Why don't you join the jealous. basketball team with me? Uh, I am the captain, so you know, you know, I'm not saying I'm going to be um, uh, nepotistic, but I could be. And you I mean, need to see him in little shorts, huh? Shut up! I mean, basketball's not never been like my sport, you know. But like, I mean, if we're playing in like a scrimmage or whatever, like, I mean, I'll, um, I'll pass the not, rock. Not necessarily my sport either, <laughs> but it is now, and I am embracing it. And perhaps you can embrace it too. Well, no, just just for the day. As a matter of fact, if I recall. Uh, little Matthew um, uh, sprained his ankle, so we are out one player anyway. So it's like, you know, like a perfect opportunity. It's like Kismet or whatever they call that stuff. It's right there. If you uh, want, I'm not going to force you to play basketball with me. I mean, the team. Yeah. No, no. I'll play. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It's easy. You guys just bounce the ball. Don't double dribble, uh, which means you, you run. You bounce the ball. You pass the ball. When someone asks for the ball, don't shoot the ball. This isn't football. You will pass. You you will shoot way too far to just just pass to the to. I, to. You know, I think I'm I'm pretty well versed in like the rules of football and also basketball and how they differ. So I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I believe you. I, I just, hey, sometimes you're in one mindset and you play something else. It's, it's like playing tennis while you're thinking about golf, right? You just hit the ball way too hard, or you scream full, and it's totally not the same, t- same, same, same thing. I never had that at tennis camp. But I, I don't know. It was different for me. At I didn't, some point, Manny just sort of leans <laughs> over to Dolly and is just like, "Are they flirting? Wait, flirting? Why would they flirt?" I don't know, but they're acting really weird. Do you think it's because Lenny's wearing a crop top today? (laughs) Maybe. Persephone, over your shoulder, Dahlia. I have been looking respectfully. Oh. Well, does Hades know about that? I'm pretty sure. You're Greek, it's fine. Wait, what was that? Manny? Pretty sure they're in an open relationship, aren't they? Aren't all Greeks? I I don't know, Brent Stephanie. Are you in in an open relationship? Like I said, we're Greek. Huh. Interesting. I don't know. Are they flirting? I could ask my aunt, but I don't think she'd be uh, comfortable. Yes. Playing. Okay, cool. Yes, they are flirting. Well, oh one God. of them is. One of them is, at least. Well, obviously, Lenny's the one flirting, right? I kind of assume Lenny's always. Like, I think it's a quarterback thing. Is it a football? Yeah. Like, are they just popular boys always just flirting? Is that yeah. How that works? They're flirting with everybody, except for, except for you and me. I don't mind. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to with me. Me either. Lenny's not really my type. I like the bad ones. <laughs> okay. I thought me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, I'm gonna go get prepared for um for basketball. I'm, I'm sure you have shorts or something. Um, oh, it's, yeah. just, it's, just, it's just it's no no uniform needed. I'm just gonna put my uniform on because you know, Captain. Uh, you want to go try and say hello to some of the new kids, Dahlia? Oh, yeah. That'd be great. Make sure you go and see if any of them are interested in being part of the school safety squad. Yeah. We could tell them. We could tell them that the oh, the captain of the basketball team is part of the safety squad, and that'll definitely convince them to be part of the safety squad with us. I'm and not the part of the safety squad! As I'm walking away. Again. 
that's my country where you my denial <laughs> all right we're gonna link arms with manny we're gonna go and see if we can hunt down a couple of new kids yeah well you see a handful of them uh they all seem very pleasant and among them america uh why don't you describe what you look like yeah um i think right now mecca probably has like a a duffel bag with and probably slightly open you can see a basketball in it so it's very much clearly on a basketball team as well um and i find it very funny of what we were talking about at the beginning he is uh a five foot tall um black man a black boy i guess at this uh, right now um who has like um uh, really um long but really tightly curled hair that he ties in a um low um bun um he seems to have right he's laughing around his i think has like a very a very baby face um and kind of is just messing around with the other um t members of his team right now probably like playfully punching each other um shoving each other and um trying to each other's best american accents because <laughs> that's what you do when you go to america um but yeah very very oh and i think he's dwarfed by everyone like he's definitely one of the shortest in the group of people coming over <laughs> uh yes as you approach it jiro uh has clear jiro uh uh asian descended man clears his throat <clears throat> excuse me can i get some ketchup on these chips <laughs> Hold that on. is spot on, spot on. That actually sounds exactly like one of the people I bumped into in McDonald's, actually. Why would you want ketchup on your chips? Why what, Why wouldn't you want ketchup on your chips? Do you mean french fries? Oh, yes. Oh. French fries. Was that good? Yeah. Are you from Georgia? <laughs> no. No. Uh, Paul is. Huh. Cool. Another member Paul? of Paul? Yes. Uh, Jiro motions to a very Slavic looking man, very. Uh, I'm not saying Georgia. Paul is incapable of smiling. He just chooses not to ever. I think it's a different Georgia we're talking about. Hi, I'm Manny. Hi, I'm, I'm in Mecca. Welcome to North Point. Yeah, thanks for welcoming me. It's quite a place, quite a school. Yeah, if you ever um, want to, you know, get a tour, Manny and I are your people. Um, Dahlia, by the way. Hi, Dahlia, sorry. Hi, Dahlia. I need to uh, start a hand to shake as well. We're pretty well known around these parts. Uh, we're part of the safety squad, so everybody knows us and everybody loves us. Oh, oh okay. Um, Safety squads? Yeah, we keep things safe. You know. We make sure everybody uh, uh, feels secure. And um, if they ever need help with something, we're usually the people they call. If there's anything nefarious going down on campus, we're there. Does, nef does nefarious things happen often on campus? Well, I guess I meant like rule breaking, but nefarious oh, okay. was my word of the day in my calendar. So, in the, in the background of that, there's the scene, like scenes of like explosions and <laughs> broken <laughs> buildings. <laughs> and Mecca like ducks, and you just see like a, a knife that swizz past over his head. Like, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nefarious is a an interesting choice of word that Dahlia has has made. I mean, if it was your word, a day, word for the day, I mean, it was yeah, a pretty good use of it. don't take it too literally. But um, you said you could give us a tour? I don't know if everyone else wants to go, but I definitely would like a tour. Sure, we're happy to give you a tour. Yeah. Do you uh, mind, guys? Absolutely, and we can introduce you to our friends and other safety squad members. You know, the captain of the basketball team is actually one of our best members on the safety squad. No way. And, and we have a former quarterback, too, so you know we're cool. We're very cool. I I see that. And also, I think I've watched enough American TV shows to know that that's automatically a like a status symbol. Um, 
so yeah, no, I'll meet up with all of you. Um, and in my head, I want to do this. Well, I think I'm doing this without anyone noticing. I want to ask you, Kenga, are these the people? I get that vibe. Okay. Um, safe, you're the safety squad, right? What, what kind of things have you done to keep the place safe? Um, if something strange happens, like, um, uh, we accidentally got live frogs today instead of like the freeze dried ones in biology class. It, and I was in the class that, uh, in that class, I just so happened to be, I was able to, you know, you know, get everyone out safely. Uh, so they wouldn't be swarmed by living frogs. Um, the, 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 the teacher did pass out, but I was able to like properly like use the proper techniques to drag him from the classroom um, safely. Also at the last homecoming, the, um, the popular cheerleader Mandy got kidnapped and we saved her from the graveyard. Yeah, things like that. Um, well, okay, the frog thing, weird, I'll be honest, very weird. The kidnapping thing doesn't seem like things that people our age should be dealing, that seems like a police situation. Well, the police in America, I don't know if you know this, are wholly incompetent, incapable of dealing with specific types of situations. Sometimes okay, it is yeah, actually for the, the, the- calling the, them would probably make things worse, so- No, that's a good point, yeah. Time. Worse. It's actually not that different in the UK, actually. Um, Cops are bastards. Yeah, a yeah. cab. Yeah. Um, well, okay. Uh, how about we walk and talk? Because I definitely want to see more of this place before we get started with the match. Want to start with the theater, Dahlia? Oh, I would love to. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Question: uh, Just for timing's sake. I was assuming that like the match was about to start in like maybe 10, 15 minutes. Am I wrong? Or 20 <laughs> minutes? No, starting in about 20 minutes, but uh oh. okay. <laughs> I was just making sure I was like, hold on. <laughs> be a quick tour. Quick tour. We just the run. Tour yeah. is just the theater room, the safety squad room, and then the quad. <laughs> and then we bring them right back to the gym. Yes. yes. <laughs> just like wow. smash cuts to these various places. And then back we're like the running and not even like stopping. We're just like, and this is the theater. I just gave him along there today. And then, oh, we gotta run. We gotta go to the okay, next place. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm keeping up. Okay, let's go. This is a nice warm -up. Okay. All right. I'm gonna ask for a dexterity roll <laughs> from Dahlia and Manny. And oh. a Mecca, I'm gonna need an intelligence roll to see how much of this you're gonna get. Okay. Nine. Ten. A one. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Manny, poor Manny, you are. I'm not sporty. You're lecture. You're talking. You're walking and talking. You have going. It's going fine. It's going fine. And you absolutely stumble, and trip, and fall, and do a flip, and fall some more, and you don't even remember where this hill came from. As you come to a stop at the bottom of a grassy hill. Manny, are you okay? Uh, leave me here to die. <laughs> no, no, we don't leave oh. anyone behind. Um, I, sorry, uh, sir, stand back. This is a safety squad matter. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Dolly is going to like try to whisper to Orpheus to go run and grab uh, bandages. <laughs> Just like, if only I had some some bandages right now. Let me check my pocket. Uh, Emeka, you see a uh, brightly colored kind of transitioning. It's like a mood ring or a lava lamp on a as a bunny holding up bandages, popping out of Dahlia's bag. Ah, uh, right here. Here you go, doll. Thank, thank you. Um, are, are you allowed pets in school? Um. Wait, uh, te technically not, but this is, a, he's my uh, emotional support animal. Huh? And we're going to like <laughs> start huh? bandaging up Manny. Did you tie die? Why is it, why is it talking? I'm not it an just it. Said... I'm sorry, what, what are your pronouns? As far um, as he can tell, I'm just saying like, 
I don't know what sounds do rabbits make. Chit chit chitter 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 chit. No, I don't think rabbits make the, those noises either. Rabbit. Okay. So All right. you can see and understand him. You're yes. not just pulling our leg, right? No. Okay, I see this. a rabbit that looks tie-dyed. Did you tie-dye your rabbit? Dahlia, I am about to drop a curse. Brace yourself. Who the fuck are you? Emeka. I mean, Emeka Okafor, if you want to know no, my... No, but, it's... like, who the F are you? And I'm going to have Persephone uh, show up behind me. Behind oh. Dahlia appears a woman made of earth and life. And fl lots of oh. flowers. It's very floral. Oh, that's... So you were who he was talking about. Um, well, I'm Emeka. This is a Kenga, and I'm going to have a Kenga manifest behind me. Behind Emeka appears a being. It is horned, and it carries a decapitated head in one hand. Uh, it, it's kind of uh, like a large humanoid, a large humanoid um, closest to resemblance to a black man, but in front of his face is like a long mask of horns um, floating right and directly in front of his face. Um, I believe in his left, in his right hand, he has a curved blade, and in his left is like a blurry image. And every time you look, try to focus on it, you, it gets blurrier. But if you look at it from the corner of your eye, it's the beheaded heads of whoever's looking at it. So if Dada's yeah. looking at it, they see Dada's head. Um, Wait, uh, 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 Manny, this means there's other schools that have this. Oh gosh, I can't look. Oh. He told me that I was going to meet friends. Like friends, so yeah. I think he meant you. And I uh, can see Emancipation's wings burst from their back. Whoa! Wait, are those yours or like your divin like deities? I Do you am have wings? Art. Oh. Whoa. You're cool. Why I want wings? You can't. Why can't I? Can we have wings? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I was good enough giving you. I you mean, know, hi, hey, no, hey, no, it's fine. It's fine. You want wings? He wants wings. You can buy no, a mic sometime, right? Yes. No. Is it okay for me to offer that? I don't believe that's something I can share, but. Uh... Oh, okay. Sorry, that's just my um, kind of instinctive nature to offer things to other people without knowing whether or not I can actually follow through on them. <laughs> What's your, like, what What can you do? Because we can all do things. Oh, um, I can see the future to an extent, but yeah, am a little I bit of the get, past as well. Am I going to get married and have, like, a really nice family and, like, a domestic life with a picket fence? I can't answer that. Huh. Okay. I just don't really like using my abilities for things like that. Um, the whole point of life is being surprised, you know? That's the jet. Keep the surprise alive. Well, I really I want can... to know. Hmm? Do you really want to know? Uh, I will I also say that telling you might change the course. So that's also so you might end up having a beautiful life, but then the moment I tell you, you end up like live what dying if, alone. What if you tell me about someone else's future and then I never tell them, but I just like no. That should be fine unless you directly act on the knowledge that you just gained. So, okay. Hmm. I might have a favor to ask you. Um, well, my divinity is Persephone, and I can control the plants and also, like, work with light and darkness. It's kind of cool. Oh. Hi, Persephone. And you met my aunt. Truth, justice, harmony. I can Hi, to tell me the truth, and if they don't, I can suck the air from their lungs. Oh. It's very dangerous. Um, do, is anyone else at your school? Do they have divinities like we do? Um, Steve, <laughs> Steve, do they? <laughs> uh, well, actually, Emeka, yeah, you've met a handful okay. of other students who have divinities. Um, not all of them are here, but a hand, but you do know one of them is with you, the basketball captain, Ziggy. Ziggy. Yeah, um, a few still at home, but Ziggy, um, is also has a day to their own. So, so have you also been fighting like scarecrows and 
chess pieces mm -hmm. and closing the door to oblivion and the phantom queen do you have that at your school now mecca you have thought your own share of scarecrow you have heard of the term crow and you have fought a handful but it hasn't everything else <sighs> okay um i mean i've heard of the term like do you mean scarecrows like actual scarecrows no no i mean I've, I've fought some really weird things don't know if any of them were like categorized as a scarecrow i actually don't know why we started using that term for them i was out at a theater camp when we started <laughs> fighting them so i just got caught up with a real quick like hey this is what we did it's because they're brainless there we go foolish trauma. wizard of oz that makes that's a actually good one yeah no that makes sense but anyways, maybe you should, we should head back to the gym so that we can yes. oh, to forgot about a few that. more of uh, the members of the safe squad. But also, you know, you have a game. We don't want to be yeah. that. Yeah, probably should warm up for that. But wait until he needs We can to run back if you want. And Kwame yes. And I mean, wait, Manny, Manny, are you, Kwame, who? Um, are you okay, Manny, to run? You did kind of take a bit of a fall. I'll just meet you there. Go ahead without me. Okay. <laughs> now, as Emeka and Dahlia move off, uh, Manny, suddenly, thanks to our, we have reached our sub goal of Mighty Morphing Rabbit Rangers. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> we never yes. know. No, I never tell them squat. <laughs> <laughs> we never uh, sudden. Suddenly, Manny, you are surrounded by uh, five brightly colored rabbits. One of them red, one of them blue, one of them green, one of them pink, and one of them yellow. And they, with them are ice packs and Advil. Hi. The red one approaches. Hi. I am Talia, the red rabbit ranger. I brought you bright and ice pack. It looks like you got a boo-boo on your knee. Let me just put that down for you. Oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, did you say your name was Dahlia? Talia, with a Talia, T. Talia, with a T. Mm -hmm. Errato, uh, the green rabbit strikes a pose before handing you a small little Dixie cup of water and two at them. Thank you. I recognize these names, Steven. Uh, do you? <laughs> do you? Oh my god, do you? I do. I love it. Continue. Uh, Calliope, uh, the yellow one, comes gittering up and, uh, you know, okay, let's get you up. Come on. Be a big non-binary person. You can do this. You're fine. Um, thank you. And as the as Calliope helps you up, uh, Cleo has uh, put on one of those little cuffs to check your blood pressure and is uh, checking an invisible watch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well that all checks out well. Ain't that the gospel truth? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you caught on. Good. Yes. Well, after. After our uncle uh, started hanging out here and making an army of rabbits, we kind of got curious, so. That makes sense. <laughs> cool. You're not, I mean, you can if you want to. I won't mind, but you're not gonna like burst into song or anything like that, are you? I mean, we can. All five of them get together and harmonize on an, on an A note. Nice. Why the Power Ranger outfit? Oh. I had to like harmonize it in my head. Like, what is that? Go ahead. Oh, uh, quite simple. We wanted to make sure we were a cohesive unit with a clear aesthetic. Well, you found it. Yeah. Well, we were going to appear with uh, little togas and everything, but it's hard to get rabbit sized togas. I mean, I guess so. I guess, I guess that's fair. Um, anyways, thank you very much for your help. I should probably go to the gym now. 
Absolutely. They strike a sentai pose before they go off to fight crime and the forces of evil. Thank you, chat, for that. They will be appearing for the rest of the campaign. I love that we have them use this as graphics. In All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Kwame and Lenny, you have changed into your un. Well, Kwame's in his uniform. Lenny, you're in, uh, you know, basketball shorts and a uh, NPA t-shirt. Close enough. Yeah, all right. Uh, are you all stretched out? Uh, I was going to make sure. You know, when I made myself become the, the captain, I didn't uh, think about one thing. I should probably practice, so I have. Uh, I'm pretty good now, but, you know, it's fine. I think we're good. We, we, we might win. We might not. As long, as, as, as long as it's done, then we can go back to what we are doing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I guess, I guess, yeah, if you don't want to take it seriously, sure. I guess no, 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 I didn't say I didn't take it seriously. I just, uh, oh, no, okay, yeah, yeah. It's just like, you know, you're the captain. So, so do you have any plays or, uh, like, uh, I don't know, like, um, uh, yeah, um, and I, uh, you see, uh, almost like at the same time, there's like a, a paper being formed out of web. Um, that is like, yeah, yeah. And I like laid out the playbook that basically have <laughs> forms and I start to go over some of the plays that we have talked about. Omega don't know this stuff, but Kwame does. Uh, uh, give me an intelligence roll, Kwame. Let's see how good your plays are. Oh, come on. Come on. Could it be like an advantage or something? I don't know how this works. How about, uh, okay, okay. You can <laughs> alter reality. So we're going to go ahead. Intelligence plus three. Bet. Nine. <laughs> They're good. They're good plays. Kwame, you are, you know, you definitely should not be captain. You know this, but it's cool because you're okay at it. Yeah, you know, it's fine. I, I learned from the best. I watched Michael Jordan. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, so, like, you watched uh, Space Jam a couple times. When, <laughs> where, where do you want me? Um, Are you better at being the point guard or do you want to, you know, be more at the goal? The goal, the, you know, I mean, the, the hoop. I mean, not for nothing, but these British dudes don't seem super tall. Uh, and I'm 6'2", so I don't think point guard's really my kind of thing. I, you know? I agree. Mecca, I guess you totally heard that. Just want to make sure. I mean, you could be the center. The center's oh, fine. Oh, Emeka had that right. Okay. Emeka, you opened the door just in time to hear this uh, tall <laughs> white boy uh, talking about how... Oh, they don't seem that tall. Um, that tall. Hold on. Are you are you calling me short? Nah, dude. I just like no, no. no it saying, sounds like you call. You just called me a pipsqueak, didn't you? Uh, no. I don't think I've ever like used no, that term. You just did. I heard, uh, you just called me a. Uh, you, uh, hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. I, oh, no. I apologize. I did not know that I would say something like that. Uh, that is super heckin' rude of me. Uh, no, no, not to be that person. Uh, uh, hi, um, uh, I, I, uh, Kwame, captain of the basketball team here at North Point. Um, this, this is, you know, our, our, um, our, our, our locker room where we where we get changed. I, I assume y'all would use the the other one to get changed. Are you lost? I could I could make sure you know where to go. He just kind of gives Lenny like just a glare. And looks over to Kwame and just smiles. Yeah, I think I am a bit lost. Um, I thought this is a locker room. I just followed the signs and it led me here. Oh, no, the no, locker room doors fly open. And this man, this elegant gazelle of a man, uh, his hair is in tight braids that are perfect. His skin is clearly moisturized. He is black. He is French. He is fabulous. He is Ziggy. Emeka, darling, where? Oh, this is the home locker room. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> um, I, I assume you are part of the basketball team. Yeah, I can take you all to the other side. You know, we're not ah. enemies just because we are going against each other. But. Of course not, of course. Uh, hello, hello. Uh, Mecca, who are, who are who are your friends? Who are they? I 
don't know. Um, well, this is Kwame. They just introduced themselves to me. Hi, I'm um, Imeka. Pleasure oh. to meet you. Yeah, and uh, I'm Lennox. Uh, it's I, I'm not on the basketball team, or am I? I don't know if I am now. Or it's, a work in prog- it's a work in progress. But I'm like playing today or whatever. Oh, lovely. Oh, hmm. oh he has given you the uh, fingers. Did you imply he is of a certain height? Uh, apparently I said some very negative things about him that, uh, I don't remember, uh, but it was super messed up. What happened was we were speaking about the position he's going to take since one of our own, unfortunately, is out ill, um, had a little bit of a slip. <gasps> um, but oh, no. no, it's fine. It's cool. It happens. Um, that's what we have nurses for. Uh, but we were suggesting what position he was comfortable with. And he mentioned that the team that we are fighting happens to be on the diminutive side, not to be disrespectful, but it is literally what it is. Um, that's all. But apparently uh, there was an offense taken because they came into the wrong spot at the wrong time and heard the wrong thing at the wrong moment. Ziggy, what does diminutive mean? Short. Kwame, what does diminutive mean? <laughs> <laughs> Means short, Lenny. Oh, okay. I will have you know that I'm an adequate size. I believe you, you're an adequate size. We are not taking a jab at your size. We're taking a jab at the fact of what you are. That is all. Oh, so you are taking a jab at his size. If you wish to take it that way, then sure. Just those eyes at Lenny again. I'll see you on the court. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'll see you there, Lenny. <laughs> just, just that, Lenny. <sighs> all right. Uh, I'll guide you all. Actually, um, hey, um, you. Um, um, dang it. What's his name? Cameron. Um, can you take them to the other side for me? I have to finish um, making sure Lenny knows what to do. Or at least what he's going to be doing. Uh, Cameron leads uh, Emeka and Ziggy to the uh, visitor's locker room. The minute the door closes and I hear footsteps like five footsteps away, I go, Lenny, you are a sports person. You are more the sports person than me. You will destroy them. Do I make myself clear? Um, yeah, I guess. Uh, they seem real nice, though. I might not be mostly a sports person. I well, understand I guess- competition. I guess yeah. You should you should probably make me power forward. Uh, and like I don't want to like. I, I mean, there's a reason why I chose football instead of basketball. Uh, but yeah. I mean, no, just, I see just, the physique. I get and, it. And, and I, then I get it. Lenny Lenny just turns the the team. And it's like, listen, guys, I don't want to like I don't want to be that guy. Uh, but I guess pass me the ball and stay out of my way. Uh, and. Kwame, first of all, Kwame looks at the team, crosses his arms, looks back at Lenny. You hurt the man. Pass him the ball. Stay out of his way. But don't get it twisted. I am still the captain. Yeah, totally. Anansi, on your shoulder, whatever you need to say to get yourself to sleep. I will string you up from the web that you create if you keep talking. <laughs> Anywho, let's play some basketball. <clears throat> With that, uh, Dahlia and Manny, you two are in the bleachers as you see the teams come out. And Dahlia, you're starting to wonder if maybe you just have a thing for Frenchmen because you see uh, the captain of the uh, other team and my God. Yeah. Yep. He, he's the one that doesn't smile, right? Or is that the other guy? No. They introduce uh, the other guy who does not smile. His face is like a boulder. That does not crack. Ziggy, on the other hand, remember when you first met Spiro and there were the flowers? Yeah. There's flowers. There's definitely flowers. I really hope that someone gets a three-pointer so that we get to storm the court because I got to introduce myself to that man. Jesus. All right, I'm back. What are we staring at? 
<laughs> Manny, you are immune to the flowers, thankfully. Dahlia? My future. That's what we're looking at right now. Oh, brother. <sighs> Though, Manny, you do see Emeka among his team, and it's very interesting. It's like, Avertite, 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 Emeka, Avertite, Avertite. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how that happened. I mean, I know it doesn't really matter how tall you are. If you can fall, you can fall. But wow. He's got to have a really good jump height or can throw really well. He probably moves really fast and is difficult to catch. He can probably duck under their legs. Can you do that? I mean, he's only an inch, tall, or an inch or two taller than you. I've actually never tried outside of swing dancing. Oh, you swing dance? Well, you have She's to. She's why, of course, she swing dances. <laughs> yeah, it's like a family tradition. We swing dance for every holiday. That sounds like fun. It's you have great. to go sometime. Yeah, absolutely. With that, the North Point Rabbits take the court. Uh, people are cheering. It's very intense. And we have basketball. All right. So here's how we're going to be handling this. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Emeka and, all right, Lenny and Kwame, who's going to be taking point? Um, okay. <laughs> all right, I need both of you to give me a dexterity roll. Lenny and Emeka. Okay, cool. Lenny was given a direct order from his captain to kick their ass, so he's taking points. <laughs> It, the ball is tossed and Mecca you are short I'm the narrator you can't yell at me for saying it <laughs> I also relate but you sir you got game and you just deny Lennox the ball and you have it uh, oh thank you Bugs for that generous tip uh, you are go and alright Kwame Lenny, I need both of you to give me uh, dexterity or strength rolls. Emeka, you can give me a dexterity or strength roll yourself. Definitely going dex. Uh. Uh, mine is actually a 10. Okay. Seven. Mm. I'm small for it, by the way. I am very versatile on this team. <clears throat> I'm probably paying uh, a power forward. So you and yeah, you and Lenny are matched up right now. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, real quick, before we move any forward, we have unlocked rerolls. So we now have ten on the table. However, in order to use the first five, you will have to play real or fake anime. <laughs> no, I don't know that. Okay, I will cool. be giving out anime descriptions given to us by beautiful people on our Discord server. And all you have to do is tell me if you think they're real or fake. Bet. This is going to go badly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Emeka, you and Kwame are, Kwame is playing defense and he's playing it well. He is blocking. He seems to know your exact move. Uh, and you see Ziggy, who, when you hear him shout, I'm open, I'm open. I'm going to try and pass it. I'm going to pass it straight to um, Iggy. Ziggy. All right, give me a dexterity roll. Kwame, also give me a dexterity roll. Okay. Mm. Nope. Ziggy, okay, I, there's no win how I can beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Ziggy catches it. Uh, Lenny, are you going to try to get on him? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try for it. Okay. Oh, oh no. No. Yeah, um, as you try to get onto him... You hear, uh, you hear surprisingly, uh, Ninkasi in the back of your head. Oh no. Uh, well, did not mean to roll 2d12, but we will be taking the higher, higher of six. Letty, you've been hit by many things in this campaign. You've been hit by water, you've been hit by. Uh, divinities, you've been hit by scarecrows, you've been hit by the white crows, you've been hit by all sorts of things. But you know 
what it's like when you get hit by a divinity. And you take a divinity, you take a divinity gut punch, effectively. You will not be taking any damage, but you feel like someone has elbowed you right in the gut as Ziggy turns around and flashes you a devious little smile. Ah, so that's Ziggy, the kind of game we're playing. Yes. Ziggy is a divinity user, and his divinity is Hercules. Oh, All right, bro. All right, bro. Whoa. Damn. <laughs> oh, no. Did, oh, yeah. do, uh, since, I mean, we're all watch, I mean, we're all going to the same area watching this. Did I notice anything from that or no? You absolutely, Kwame, as you're farther away, you can see it. Around Ziggy appears a, you've seen Aladdin. It's like Genie when he doesn't have legs. Half a man, half wisp appear behind him and just moving in unison with Ziggy, just bonk right in Lenny's breadbasket. As oh. Ziggy goes for the shot, let me go ahead and roll for him. Uh, nope, nope. He does not make it, but he does throw it. It hits the backboard, and I need a dexterity roll from all three of you to see who can catch it. Difficulty of five. Six. Ten. Four. I am not dexterous. <laughs> <laughs> Basketball's a dexterous game. Okay. He wasn't originally a basketball player. I was never a basketball player. You were part of the poetry club. I was? (laughs) (laughs) Wait, you went from poetry to bus? Look, go back (laughs) and watch the VODs and everything to to understand what happened. (laughs) (laughs) I assume Emeka gets the ball? Uh, Yes, Emeka gets the ball and can go for another shot. Uh, We are looking for a seven. Seven. Okay. If uh, as I get, oh, go ahead. I was gonna say, I think I would I have noticed Ziggy do this as well. Oh, you absolutely did. I okay. I think I'm very much still in the game, but I definitely give Ziggy a dirty look, like a what the what the fuck. (laughs) And then it was a dick move. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go for the shot. And as they go for the shot, I go Anansi. We have cheetahs. You're the god of stories. Let's rewrite that story, please. (laughs) And I want when this shot moves, I want the the um, uh, the force of the ball. It's like Final Destination. I hate to use this one, but the force of the ball hits the uh, backboard just enough that the thing twists a little bit, um, and it causes the ball not to go in at all. Oh damn! Oh boy. Okay. All right. All right. So Emeka, I'm still not still going to ask for a dexterity roll, but Kwame, I, I'm going to need you I to did make one. Oh, you did. You did. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely got it. Uh, so, Kwame, I'm going to need a... Uh, let's make this range and uh, charisma. Um, 13. I'm going to take... I know, but I'm going to take a reroll. Oh no! I don't. I don't definitely need do it, to. Do I mean, it. it was do a it. one and a twelve. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Do it. I don't do want. It. I don't, that's <laughs> wasting a reroll. That's wasting. I mean, I don't. fine. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll take a reroll to have to play this silly game. Maybe. All right. All right. Thank you so much for playing my silly game. <clears throat> an even better watch. All right, Kwame. A group of high school slackers learn to save the world by taking baths together with a talking pink koala. Real or fake? Who watches this stuff? Is this real? Oh no! Um, Can you because it's anime. I'm going to say it's real because anything's real. real. Yeah, I think it. I remember seeing this. <laughs> Shoot High Our- Earth Defense Club Love. Wait, the name of that show? Thank you. Discord. No, I will We're not still- have watched. I will not be watching that one. But thank you. Jesus. Uh, wow, it wasn't much better. So it's actually a six. It's actually a um uh, uh a fifteen. No, but not much better. But still, it's better. <laughs> All right. I'm actually going to say, if you get it right, I'm going to give you a plus one on the roll you use it on. So, okay, then 16. Then 16. Yeah, no. Um, Emeka, you toss it. It's perfect. You know what's going in. You know how this works. And then you, like a record scratch, everything changes for a second and plop, plop, plop. 
And I, I will say um, to, to like tie it in, you almost see uh, if you're looking at it, uh, if you can perceive it, um, a, 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 a spider web just kind of goes over the backboard and like constricts and turns it ever so slightly before dissipating. He's going to like look directly to you, Kame. Dude, would he know it was me? Um, I mean, well, yeah, actually. Um, he knows that the captain of the um, basketball team ah, is true. Uh, also, also a user. Yeah. Um, so he would look directly to you, Kame. And uh, I think it's a bit of like just frustration, but just nods and accepting because like Ziggy started it. Yep. It's, yeah. No, because if you look, if you look, and I notice a look, I just look dead at Ziggy and look back at you, and then I keep running and start the game, continue the game. Good. No, you ain't about to cheat and have not have us cheat back. <laughs> is it just me, or is there a lot of really weird machismo happening on the floor tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the energy coming off this court is. This is why I don't do sports. This is why I live on the stage. Because there's no toxicity or uh, competitiveness in <laughs> theater. From Dahlia's point of view, no. I can, and, and I look at it, Lenny, and I say, Lenny, remember what I said in, 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 in the room? Double that. Mm. Okay. Uh, Lenny wants, to, wants the ball, and he's going to run it in. All right, Lenny. Uh, as you run the ball in, uh, Emeka, I need a strength or dexterity roll. Uh, Lenny, it will be contested against uh, can I, strength or dexterity. Can I use my... Um, I'm going to go right off the bat and use one of my abilities. Uh, oh. <laughs> I would like to use my second uh, second animal ability, please. Oh, dang. Okay. Uh, why don't you share what that one is? Well, um, dang, we're going in. <laughs> <laughs> um, so my ability is um, can predict the next action slash action, reactions of their target that they will target or make in the next 10 seconds or round, even without physical contact and use it to advantage to inflict a condition. Okay, okay. See, I don't want that face from you. I don't want that <laughs> face from you, mister. I, I, I alter reality on a whim. <laughs> um, we all know the consequences of my actions when I uh, <laughs> alter reality. This man said he can go, no. <laughs> I mean, I still have the role. It's still contested the role, but yes. like, if I succeed, Buffy. Yes. So that'll be two uh, AP points, and this is going to yep. be power intelligence. Power intelligence. Cool, cool, cool. And I am also because because my captain told me to fucking go for it. Uh, I am going <laughs> to. Uh, I'm uh, as as I'm running, and I see this person running back at me. Uh, I'm gonna just. Just a little jet of water under, trying to like right where their foot's gonna land, trying to time that perfectly so that they slip. Oh wow! Okay, cool, cool. All right, so here's how we're going to do this. Uh, Emeka, we'll yep. roll first. They got a nine. That's, I got a nine. Okay. So that gives Lenny <laughs> Chrono Sickness nine. So if he rolls under a nine, it's gonna be bad. Okay, I rolled a seventeen. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mecca, would you like to use a reroll? Yeah, I'll use a reroll. I <laughs> have a question. <laughs> All right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Can I even get that? If I can't get it, I want to say my. You have, Jenna, a, I you have, have a, one, a very Jenna, low chance. I can't get that. It's not possible. That was nearly <laughs> my maximum I could have rolled. Yes. Um, All right. Lenny. The shot is yours. Go ahead and give me that dexterity roll. I got a six. Uh, you got a six. Okay, we were looking for a seven. Would you like to use a reroll? You know what? Yeah, I'm going to use a reroll. All right. An evil EI. An evil AI seeking world domination takes a wrong turn in cyberspace and ends up in the robot assistant at an old folks' home. Real or fake? God, I hope that's real. I want to watch that, uh, but it doesn't. It doesn't sound whimsical enough. <laughs> and I don't know if they have old folks' homes in Japan. They 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 unlike Western cultures. You know, 
care about their elderly and take care of them and don't dump them off in a place. So I'm going to go with fake. It is indeed fake. Though, in fairness, I would watch that show as well. Yeah, it sounds fun. All right. Uh, all right. Let's go. Uh, you're going to reroll with a plus one. Uh, here we go. Uh, hmm. No. Stre- Dexterity is not as good. I would have used, I should have used strength. Lenny, you shoot it. It's just, it backboard, bounce it off. And when it bounces off, the lights go out. You are all plunged into darkness as suddenly, well, I'm going to need an initiative roll from everyone. Oh, oh. damn. Okay. But before we do, I have drawn the chariot thanks to Mel Pomino choosing to draw from the deck of heroes. Now, uh, the chariot does not represent any of you, sadly. Uh, But the chariot does represent inner strength, physical aptitude, and self-reliance. So I'm going to say for the rest of the game, as it was was right side up, you can all add two to your strength rolls. (laughs) Okay. Uh, I can't remember. Dex and speed. Dex and speed. Do I? Oh, okay. It's just dex and speed. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, you got it. What happened to the music? Bring it back. It's yeah, so good. Well, actually, we <laughs> need it. We're going to combat, yo. <laughs> Did Emeka get a card ass- assigned? Like a tarot card? Oh! I had... You know what? I haven't assigned you a card. Oh, I... I don't even remember what my card is. <laughs> You're the moon. I'm the star. I'm the moon. Uh, I'm, oh, no, I'm, I'm the moon. Okay. Well. Let's see. Uh, Lenny is the emperor. Dolly is the star. Manny is the fool. Kwame is the moon. You are a friend from across the pond. Imagine if it's chariot. Right. The world. The what? Oh, that's cool. Representing big choices, big changes, and inner strength. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That makes okay. sense. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I got an eight on my initiative. <laughs> I got a seven. I got a twelve. Fourteen. And, uh, and we did not get. An eight. Okay, so Seven, Dahlia eight, and Kwame. 12, 14. Hmm? 7, 8, 9, 12, 14. Yes. I think this is the third episode in a row that I have rolled the same initiative as someone. And it is. Turns. <laughs> no, I was going to say really quickly, um, when Emeka's um, divinity activated, did I see their divinity? Yes. Though... Um, uh, Ikenga um, is more like Nigerian, like Igbo, and yeah, Anansi yeah. is more um, Ashanti. There's a very close um, in relation. I would know who that is, correct? <laughs> I think you absolutely would, yeah. <sighs> okay. I think it's more than fair that you would know. Oh, that's. Huh. I can't see right now because it's dark, but. I... Yeah. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> As the light comes on, the five of you realize, well, you don't realize, as the lights come back on, the five of you are surrounded by wax figures of your classmates, uh, frozen in time from where they were, mid-cheer, mid-run, uh, mid-shout for some of them. The Ziggy statue is absolutely gorgeous. Even him? Even him. Mm-hmm. Because I haven't started my up yet. <laughs> um, what? Well, eyes up, Dahlia. I think we've got Scarecrow. Oh. Oh. Um. And above you, floating over the court, is a large, round monster. It seems to just be spherical, with one red eye staring down, and it's it, a holder. It's what? 
about <laughs> uh for, for sure legal purposes my... uh we have to call it an eye beast thank you Val Val <laughs> <laughs> yes uh though much like an eye beast it does seem to have a power as it shoots out a red laser that burns a line into the wall of the auditorium the gymnasium i'm sorry um what is happening, Ziggy? Um, we're going to talk. You, you, we're going to talk. Damn, I was just get, really getting into this game. <sighs> it was, right. it was getting fun. Manny comes down the bleachers, like dragging Dahlia behind them. <laughs> if he's not frozen, it's because he can help us, Kwame. All right, Lennox, you start us off with a fourteen. Uh, I mean. I'm I'm a I'm a water punch this big old eye beast in its big old eye, because because it it interrupted me in my basketball game. Boop, uh, fifteen to hit. Oh, that's absolutely gonna hit. Great. Uh, only seven damage. 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 Uh, you can use the reroll if you'd like. I, I don't want to deny anyone else the opportunity to guess an anime, uh, so I'll wait till after that. I'm sorry, I'm just so proud of our chat. They made some really weird things. Yeah, so I just, I just, I just, I fire a water beam at it, but it's not super strong because I'm still holding the ball. Okay, yeah, it is going to take a bit of that. It does not look happy, but it also, Lenny, if you want to, you can give me an intelligence roll for free. Okay. Five. For free. For free. For free. Five. Mm. No, as far as you can tell, this is just another scarecrow. Next up, uh, we go to Emeka. Damn. Um, where is this? Is it up It in is the floating air? right above you, about 10 feet in the air. Oh, uh, it you. is about seven feet in radius. Um... Yeah, Emeka's just gonna go for like a, probably like a high kick. Just leap up in the air and just go for like a, probably like a roundhouse kick midair. Um, and... <laughs> I like it. Okay, go ahead and give me a, uh, what do you think? Strength or dexterity for this? I would like a dex, please. Uh, I will let it be <laughs> dex as you are doing a jump. Thank you. Um... He's still my beating heart. I think guess who is not a magician. <laughs> oh no. Uh no. You can do you mm. can use a reroll if you'd like. You know what, yeah, I wanna answer one I wanna try and answer these questions. Why not? Alright. A young firearms enthusiast and her talking mm -hmm. motorcycle go on a series of emotionally traumatic sightseeing adventures. Wait. The motorcyclist enthusiast and seeing a, like beautiful sights is a thing I rec I remember. I think I'm gonna go with true. It's real, yes. Kino's journey, also yes. on the paper book series. Yeah, I watch that. Yeah, okay. All right, you got to reroll with the plus one. Plus one. It's not gonna be great. Uh, oh, ten. Don't know if that hits still, but. The 10 is one short, so I am going to say it will hit, but I'm going to remove one from your damage. Okay, that's cool. Um, what would damage be? My strength, right? Yes. Or, okay. Seven, then. Seven damage. All right. It is not... You managed to kick it directly in the eye. It makes a really disgusting squelching noise, as you do. Uh, my... My trainers are sticky. They, it, what was that? What is this? Gonna try and figure that out. Yes. All right. Now it is its turn to go. Um, well, Mecca, it. You just kicked it in the eye. And yeah, that's no, fair. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I personally don't like getting kicked in the eye. Who does? You guys have gotten kicked in the eye. Oh yeah, hundred percent. I, <laughs> I have, I'm the youngest out of six. I yes. used to play rugby. I'm the youngest out of six, and I ain't getting kicked in my damn eye. I played soccer. I, I played rugby, so they they get really violent with. When okay, that's valid. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it got an eleven, which is a little, just just a hair shy. Emeka, it is Ooh. coming 
you have a shot of like scalding laser heading towards you. How do you avoid it? Um, I'm just gonna get real weird. I think I just kind of, I'm gonna dive to the side, like complete dive and roll out of the way to try and avoid it. Absolutely, you, you do, and it works, and it's pretty damn cool. Next up, Kwame and Dahlia, you are sharing your turn. Who would like? You can act in unison or uh, choose who goes first. Um, I'm intending to blind the thing, so I feel like- Go for it. Cool. Uh, I'm going to use Persephone's ictokinesis to uh, create a s unseen spotlight that just continually shines in this man's eye. This thing's eye? This big guy's eye. I don't think it has a gender. <laughs> uh, their eye. Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, go ahead and give me the roll. Two AP points as is your second ability. Okay. And uh, what's the roll for it again? It's this one. Bit. Yeah, we know. This one sounds like a range uh, dexterity. Okay. Eleven. Minus is... two. Oof. Mm. Nine. Nine does not hit. Would you like Can to I use the roll? Okay. <clears throat> a spinster adopts her dead brother's five children and instructs him on the art of knitting demon collars. I want that to be real really badly as someone who knits, so I'm going to say it's yeah. true. It is fake. <gasps> it is fake. Thank you, Discord. I don't want to. you look. still get the reroll. Yeah, it was a four this time. How did you. That's impressive. That's impressive. Yep. That's fun. Uh, Dahlia, you shoot out a uh, ray of light, and much like Madonna's career after 2015, it just kind of goes a little weird. Um, oh. CB, it's your turn. Uh, you mentioned that Ziggy is not frozen. I'm sorry, I think I missed that. Ziggy is frozen. He's frozen just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's not get people uh, involved who might not be prepared for this. Uh, obviously, they were not affected. Um, they were affected, unlike us. Uh, and I look up at this big thing. How high is it? Uh, it's about 10 feet off the ground. And Rebecca like, jump kicked it, so it's pretty fun. I, I just want that on record. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Also, we are ten dollars away from our next unlock tier. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Okay. Uh, then I will. Yes, I will shoot out my my hands. Will splay to the side as a f ton of web begins to uh, come out of them, Peter Parker style. And I spin all that and I throw it up at the the eye beast and I attempt to bring it down. I want to ground it. Um, I want to give it that condition of grounded. Trying to wrap it up with the web. Okay, uh, that is going to be range and strength. And don't forget, I drew chariot, so add two on top of any other bonuses you get. Yep. Uh, so that is actually uh, 14, 16. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Kwame. Actually, you know what? Lenny, I'm going to say you're the one who's closest. At... Lenny and Emeka, you're closest. You're going to notice this first. Kwame pulls it down, and for a brief moment, you realize Kwame can be jacked. To go, cool. I, I have made it very clear. Though Kwame was like a poet and kind of chill, he has like a swimmer's build. He's know, pretty ripped. I know. <laughs> this, is, this wasn't elegant. This wasn't like... Yeah. Oh, He's ripped like a character from Free. No, you're a fucking Dragon Ball Z character. In this <laughs> yeah. You're talking biceps on biceps on biceps. Three, biceps and, on it looks like, yeah, it looks like yeah. show. Fucking when he's walking great. around, it it looks like show muscles, but like they they do the work. <laughs> they do they the do work. work. <laughs> it comes crashing down into the basketball court. Uh, it now has grounded eight. It is. Yep. It even has no spiral. All right, get it while it's down. And I guess I can, uh, with the rest of the turn, I'm just keeping it down to make the uh, condition in effect. 
Manny? Um, the wings burst from Len uh, from Manny's back, as do the sword and the shield, uh, manifesting in their hands. And uh, I'm going to spend my AP points so that I can do a, 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 do a slice. All right. A whole slice. I, I like they leap, they like run towards the eye with their sword aloft to do to do some damage. Hopefully, here we go. Oof. No. Would you like to use the reroll? Sure, why not? Let's do it. <clears throat> An elementary school student accidentally frees magical cards into the world. She now has to get them back using magical power. She did not know she had. Real or fake? I mean, we all grew up watching that one on Saturday morning. That's real. <laughs> I grew up watching on Saturday mornings, and after, and before I just finished binging uh, the new Fruits Basket, I binged that too. It is absolutely real. How do real. you like 21? I'm just over here like, wind, rain, shadow, wood, thor, thunder, power, actually, power, sleep. <laughs> Fruits Basket. Fruits, okay. Fruits Basket 2019 made me cry so much. I am a mess. Card Capture Soccer, or the new one, made me very happy. Uh, I'm sure Chad appreciates my 22. Yeah, I super appreciate it. You, I, I really, really do. appreciate it. That's a really damn good roll. I 100% yes. appreciate it. We all do. So <laughs> you hit, roll for damage, and oh no. Thank you, chat. I love oh. you, chat. Ten. Oh. Ten, Ten damage. damage. I will roll. Dang, Manny. Emancipation. You... Really, really made this thing upset. It makes me upset. Eyes are gross on their own. Yes. And I missed my dissection this morning. Mm-hmm. When you stab into it, you do a lot of damage. But the world ripples a bit. Uh-oh. And you all get that feeling in your gut this like this morning, where everything went wrong, where everything went terribly, terribly wrong. I don't like this. Kwame. Nope, weird. don't like this. You hear honking. Honking? Hon honking? No! No! Car? Kwame's no. running. Kwame's running. Kwame's <laughs> running. Because I know what this is. Uh, nope. Kwame's running. Yes. Nope. And Manny, suddenly, adult sized squirrels pointing axes at you, declare, going, Arrest that person! What? Followed <laughs> by clowns. And Dahlia, you see it. Touring child productions of Shrek. What's happening? As we have unlocked, be afraid, be very afraid. At least someone will be. As one of the secretly scarecrow possessed students will sneakily attack with everything the players fear. Why? But why though? <laughs> why are the squirrels and pounds? Nope! Nope! I'm not here! No. Not, they don't exist! Nope. Go to your happy place, Kwame. Go to your happy place. I got America it right now. is so weird. <laughs> this is an this is an American thing. This is a divinity thing. Yeah. So we are back at the top of the order. <laughs> Lennox, um, you might want to do this before things get worse because yep. you know what's coming for you. Yeah, I know what's coming for me. As clowns oh, no. juggle next to you. So Lennox is like, don't have time to process that. Got to deal with what's in front of me. Uh, and I'm just going to like, he's just going to do like a, like a water powered jump and just like come down slamming hard, like a, just a big old watery attack, like punchy attacky bit. So we'll People's just elbow to the yeah. side. <laughs> yeah. Elbows hurt. Ah, uh, that's a 10 to hit. That's not going to do it. Would you like to use a reroll? We have five more, and you no longer have to answer trivia. Yeah, no, trivia. can I? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, I will attempt a reroll. All right. <laughs> oh, it's worse. Oh, that's much worse. Oh, no. Mm. Lenny, Lenny, you try to, but 
There's a lot of screaming, mostly from Kwame. Ah! What? It, they're just clowns. He really hates them. Leave me alone! Oh, hey, Kwame! No! <laughs> Want to smell the flower? I promise I won't squirt you in the face. I will squirt you in the... Nope, I'm leaving! <laughs> Emeka, what uh, is wrong <laughs> with the... What is wrong with the Yanks? It's... You're up. Wow, uh... Yeah, no, America's weird. Um, I think he's going. He's, he went for like a roundhouse kick, and that just just barely made it. So I think he's actually going to use Ikenga this time, and I think um, he's going to charge at this now ground. Is it still grounded? Because yes, um, Kwame ran. Grounded. Is it still grounded? Okay. Mm -hmm. um, he's going to charge at this um, eye, and with um, Ikenga behind him, who has the curved blade, it's going to try and go for a stab, just end the right through the pupil of the eye. That sounds like an assassin hit if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Yay! <laughs> yes. I'm very excited. I, I am consistently the only one who's not a magician at any table. <laughs> so, yay. And I literally looked through everyone's um, types. I was like, I'm going to pick one that no one chose. And I saw that everyone was a magician. I was like, oh, that oh. makes it easier, I guess. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay, I so believe that... for that, that is uh, speed and dex. Yeah. Speed index minus one or two? Minus one. Minus one. Uh, I think. Oh, plus one, because that can oh, see. Plus I'm one. trying to hit. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's minus oh, one on damage. Yeah, for us, it's different. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is like strength and power or something like that. Oh, God. That was. Damn. Yeah. That doesn't make it. Is it hit? I think. A... Here's a oh, glove. Hit. Oh, okay. I thought, I thought it was a 12. Okay, cool. Um, then he's going to like just basically try and skew. Oh, 11 again. Skewers um, this eyeball for 11 All right. damage. And Mecca, describe how you kill it. Oh. Nice. Okay. Okay. Um, I think Mecca like takes a. Just for flavor, obviously not actually using it, but I think he takes a quick glimpse a few seconds into the future just to make sure nothing else jumps out. Like, I don't know, another clown. I don't really, he's still very confused what's going on. Um, so he kind of sees that um, there's going to be a moment where the eye is looking away from um, him and he, seeing that opportunity, he returns back to like present time and charges around the side of Skiria, like through the side of his eye before he can react and just pulls the blade upwards to essentially I love dissect it. it. As you dissect the eye, it doesn't go, it doesn't dissolve like a normal crow or a scarecrow does. It pops yep. into confetti. And suddenly the clowns all explode into confetti. The squirrel guards confetti. The Shrek musical confetti the horrible dawning notion that you might be more like your father than you're than you really want to be pops it's like all those things popping and then like you like zoom in on on lenny's forehead and then <laughs> it, and it's him like at his father's desk and then they're like confetti the image pops <laughs> lenny cops up some confetti lenny are you okay uh yeah okay uh, are they still in wax? Everybody? Um, the room goes black and the lights come back on. The auditorium is damaged. Uh, there is a large crater where you drew what you thought was a scarecrow into the earth. There is damage on the wall and everyone looks confused and lost. Has anybody passed out? Uh, no one's passed out. Don't worry, everyone. The safety squad has fixed the issue. I know the lights were out temporarily, but there's nothing to worry about. Um, as Dolly is saying this, kind of drawing attention, I'm going to go to where the crater was. Is there a key? No. And then if we need to find, then I start looking around and I look at Manny and I go, uh, can you reveal, you know, Matt, we need to find who's connected to this. Can I? You get that can I help? Absolutely. Um, 
maybe I can try this. And I want to use an AP point. Mm-hmm. And use my first ability. Um, can see um, uh, can see the past or future of an object, place, or person I'm touching. And I want to touch the crater and see if I can see what happened moments before this started and see okay. if I see anyone. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you and Manny do this both simultaneously because you're kind of sense. working in, ta- in tandem. Yeah. Uh, Manny, go ahead and give me uh, power intelligence. And Emeka, give me uh, range intelligence. Range. And as they're doing this, uh, I, I just say, uh, Manny can speak for themselves, but they have a keen ability to find uh, and reveal what we can see. Uh, but I no, think I I'm going to need a re-roll to do it, even though that number and combination is very nice. Yeah, <laughs> one got a six, one got a nine. And, nice. Uh, nice. 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 <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do much better, so I'm not going to respond. I would like to re-roll. I think I can do better than that. Okay, and you don't have to answer anymore. You don't have to play the game to do it. Thank you, chat. Here we go. Nope. Wow. Exact same damn thing. Just meant to be. (laughs) Yes, so. We're doomed to have the nice number here. (laughs) Very, very nice happening over here. Seriously, how on earth do I, like, what? Betrayal by my dice. Betrayal. Mm, Betrayal. Manny, you attempt to see the truth, and whoever is responsible for this is desperately trying to cover it and you are unable to get any truth from the situation. Emeka, with your nine, however, you are able to see ever so slightly into the future. It's not far, but you do see a figure running through the halls of North Point Academy. Okay. Um, what, and the shockingly, that... they're shorter than you. I, hmm, okay then. <laughs> Uh, I think, so how his ability manifests, I, I really haven't actually described that. Um, the mask that kind of floats in front of um, Ikenga's face, uh, a spectral equivalent kind of floats in front of um, Imeka's, and it's almost like he's looking into a screen where he just sees all of this happening in like fast forward. To him, it seems like a very normal pace, not very easy to understand. Anyone else that might be looking over his shoulder, kind of happens in like three or four times speed um, as he's scrolling through. Um, Cool. Looks like someone's running down the halls, I and mean, it seems like they're trying to escape. So I feel like it's fairly pretty safe to say that they are involved. They look like a student. They look like a student. Uh, they looked young, and the only real descriptor you got was they were shorter than you. Like, um, game reckon short, recognized short. Oh, how would he say that? Because he wouldn't want to. I mean, yeah. Now, who says someone shorter than him? Um, yeah. Uh, they're, I don't can't tell if they're a student. They seem younger, um, shorter than me, and just running down the halls. Um, All right. I, I mean, they're going to be running down the halls in a few seconds. I don't know how many exactly. It was kind of hard to tell, but Manny immediately starts going through the student rolodex in their head because, like, they're a member of the pep squad. They have to deal with a lot of the students at this school for various reasons, like all of the event stuff. Is there yeah. somebody that pings like who are, who are the shorties of this school? Especially shorter than five foot. Okay, I want uh, Manny. Go ahead and give me intelligence roll plus three, and Lenny. I also want you to give me an intelligence roll plus three. While this is happening, Dahlia's just like getting super into the speech she's giving everyone. And yeah, and at the same time, uh, Kwame heads over to Coach and just says, uh, "We got call the game. Um, they Dahlia's won." Already calling it. Dahlia's like, the, the court is damaged, so unfortunately we're going to have to postpone the game, but no fear if you want to stay here. I have many uh, monologues that are very rehearsed that I can give you. Dahlia! I, mean, I want to cancel the game, but she kind of did it for me. Mm. Well, you know, uh, uh, the school safety squad, no one really listens to them. So it should come from Aren't you. Aren't you a member? No. I got a seven, by the way. <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like Eric also got a seven, so. Both of you run through the Rolodex. There are a handful of shorties at the school, Dahlia being one of them, though you know she's not running down the halls because as she is currently, uh, more or less 
deciding how tonight is going to go. Filibustering. You're filibustering <laughs> for sure. Uh, a handful of others, most of them were known. Like Mei Fun is not very tall. But Lenny, you recall the school president, Layla Saeed. About 4'10". And Manny, the name you also think of Layla. Now, Layla is school president and works very closely with Lenny when he remembers he is part of school government. You also remember that all of these people possessed by the scarecrows have some connection to you guys. Um, uh, do you are you thinking what I'm thinking, Lenny? Um, you're the one yeah. who thought, so you have to tell me. Uh, I mean, I can read yours. Exactly. Are we thinking the same thing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh boy. Okay. Um, you ever get the feeling sometimes that Faye is trying to tell you you can only have a certain group of friends, or else everybody else you know is suddenly in danger? <laughs> yeah. It's weird. All right. We think we know who who we need to find. Okay, well, um, I think I'm going to start running soon. Okay. Uh, Kawame will, um, in his full, in his outfit, um, will run out of the uh, gym to just start looking down halls to see if he can see anybody running. Because most of the people were, would have been in the auditorium, so being away from the auditorium would be, especially the school president, being away, would ha- it's very unlikely, so they're probably not far. All right. And that is where we are going to actually wrap up this episode of New Camp mm-hmm. Academia. I know, I know. And you guys are going to absolutely hate me as next week. You're not going to have time to heal. So I'm a jerk. <laughs> Valid. It's good. But we didn't really take much damage today. So. Yeah, you guys are good. good. You guys are good. We didn't take, we didn't use many points, AP points either. No, uh, no, you guys so. are in a good spot. Next week's a mystery without me, folks. Same. Yes. Uh, it's going to be a rough one. Now, before we go to our call offs, we do have one toast. Uh, brought to you by by uh, school secretary. Bum 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 bum. All right, kids. Uh, apparently, the baseball game got canceled. But uh, we have one more announcement. Um, this one's from Bugs, and they say, "Welcome to the jam." I don't know. I I don't. I'm not sure exactly um, why. They welcome us to the jam. Perhaps we are supposed to come on and slam. I am not sure, but that's it. You, you all have a wonderful rest of your day. So stop, stop blowing up the basketball court. The basketball team has it hard enough. Okay, jeez. <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, that's delightful. <laughs> For a second, I was like, wait, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My name is Stephen Pope. You can find me online at The Professional Hobbit. I will continue that until I get a cease and desist. Um, make sure you uh, keep uh, keep your eye open because we will be releasing the demo of Queers at the end of July. We're all very excited. We've been working so freaking hard on this. I know I've been working so freaking hard on this. So check it out. It's going to be LGBT-powered Power Rangers. I don't know how else to sell it. Brought to you by Son of Oak Games. Mm. Uh, Drac, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Uh, where can they find you? Oh, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Draconics. It's D-R-A-K-O-N-I-Q-U-E-S. Um, I stream all over the place. I'm in a few podcasts. I won't list it all, but um, Twitter is the best place to find me. I'll probably tweet in or retweet in every week else. You can find me there. Awesome. Uh, mostly Eric, where can they find you? Well, then they can find me, mostly Eric, on all the social media platforms, including Twitch, where I stream sometimes. R.I.P. Mika? Oh, you can find me at R.I.P. Mika on anything, any platform. (laughs) Just at R.I.P. Mika? (laughs) Nothing to plug? No one has anything to plug this week? All right. I I don't have anything to plug because I'm moving on Thursday, so you won't (gasps) see me anywhere. For a while, that's just a threat. That's a threat. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you won't see me coming. <laughs> <laughs> They're Sorry, Aki. 
Um, everybody can find me over on Twitter at Mixed Genie in a Bottle. That's M X G I N I I N A B O T T L E. And uh, no, I don't have anything to plug this week either because I'm going on vacation. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Critical Bard. Oh, hi. My name is Omega Jones, also known as Critical Bard. Critical Bard across all social media channels. I have a lot to plug because that's what we do. Uh, oh. Tomorrow you can catch me on uh, uh, Realmsmith for our uh, Arcus of Stry campaign, Into the Mist, where I play Noggins, a Seder Druid. Uh, uh, on Friday, nope. Well, I'm not going to be doing many things next week because I am taking that weekend off, including I won't be here as well. Uh, oh, but. Huh? We have Alien on Saturday. We do have Alien on Saturday. Uh, uh, you can catch it over on Q Times at something o'clock in the afternoon. At 11.30 a.m., 1.30 uh, Pacific, 2.30 Eastern. Um, uh, also on Saturday, I will be a part of Founders and Legends, which is a, um, a Gary Khan um, a stream. Uh, this is uh, Founders and Legends 4. I'll be playing with Satine Phoenix and a bunch of other awesome individuals. Uh, that's like the one thing I'm doing this weekend. Uh, and yeah, there's some other things I want to talk about, but I can't yet because NDA. Uh, but Ooh. yeah, just keep looking at my socials for everything that I'm doing. Gotta love that NDA life. I mean, uh, that's a good that's a good problem, you know, having NDA. It's a very good problem. It's a good problem. Yeah. Uh, and hey, uh, here at Saving Throw, we got a lot going on still, even though people are taking vacations, which I don't blame them. Please do take your vacations. Uh, Tuesday, we are going to have Dune. Yes, the sci-fi epic coming soon from uh, New Line Cinema. Legendary? I can't remember. But, yep, yeah, legendary. Thank you. Uh, the new sci-fi, the sci-fi novels turn David Lynch Nightmare that I love. There's an RPG now, and we're playing it here, so come check it out. And Wednesday, we have all games, no masters, where Aki and their friends take you on some beautiful games that don't require GMs. Just they games, no masters. Stupid, but, like, not, like, stuff is pre-recorded. <laughs> ah. So that I could take a vacation. Yeah, not as bad. <laughs> Even better! But so, you should check it out. Uh, special thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes, and thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Roll20, for running uh, a wonderful virtual tabletop, and uh, thank you to our friends at Die Hard Dice. Uh, with that out of the way, everyone, we hope you have a great week, and we will see you next time. Bye.